The Mariners start the second half of the season with a winning record by one game. They're 45 and 44. Disappointing? No. They lost one of their top pitchers in Robbie Ray just 91 pitches into the season. They also lost Marco Gonzalez two months into the season with a forearm injury, and his return has been delayed even further with nerve issues in his elbow. Say what you want about Marco's 4-1 and record and his 5.22 ERA. He is one of the key leaders in the clubhouse, and they miss him. They also miss him eating up innings. He's made 25 or more starts in each full season since 2018. Ask manager Scott Service. Availability is an asset. The Mariners have benefited from strong performances by rookie pitchers Bryce Miller and Brian Wu, but they're just 24 and 23 years old, respectively. It's unrealistic to expect those two to pitch deep into September, and Service knows it. Baseball general managers always say you can never have enough pitching. That's why Jerry DePoto and his gang are constantly in the arms race. He just claimed reliever Adam Aller off waivers from Oakland. He has an ERA of 10, but there's always the hope that pitcher will figure it out when he's with your team. And Mariners fans, as much as you serenaded Shohei Otani during the All-Star game with chance of come to Seattle, that's not happening. And to your credit, most of you already know it. Even though Otani is one of the top hitters and top pitchers, and he leads the majors with 32 home runs, one man won't make a difference in the Mariners lineup. Throw in the fact the M's would have to give up a boatload of talent, most notably some of their top young pitchers. And, and you got to guarantee Otani the richest contract in baseball history, maybe upwards of $500 million. So no. Where does this leave the Mariners heading into the second half of the season? Well, exactly where they were when the season started, in need of offense. They're hitting 233 as a team, which puts them in the bottom third in baseball. But... I like what I saw from the offense going into the All-Star break. Forget the shutout in San Francisco, and they scored 47 runs in eight games. They took two out of three from baseball's best team, the Rays, two out of three from the Giants, and three out of four in Houston. And really, they should have swept the Astros. Now they're about to open a long homestand against two teams from the weakest division in baseball, the Tigers and Twins, before a series with Toronto. Bottom line, I feel much better about this Mariners team going into the second half of the season. They'll start it off six games out in the AL West and four out in the wild card race. Call it guarded optimism. George Bernard Shaw once wrote, The optimist invents the airplane, the pessimist the parachute. Well, I'm not close to pulling the ripcord on this season.